Well, good afternoon. Welcome back, judges. Welcome to our audience. In a moment, we're going to go into the final scoring of the album category, but um, we are recording the events for this afternoon, so I'm going to go through the preamble again. So I'll introduce myself again. I'm David Patterson. I'm um, chairing the 2018 AIPP album category, proudly sponsored by Memento Pro, great supporters of the AIPP. Let's get out there and support them as well. In our judging panel, we have Dan O'Day, Ryan Shembury, Leslie Downey, Nick Johonis, Katie Collenberg, and Andrew Esposito. <laughs> and I'm just going to read out the um, category preamble again. The album category is designed to reward the art of presenting a series of technically and artistically excellent photographs in an engaging visual narrative that tells the story of an event, person or people, by revealing the, the personalities, emotions, characters, relationships and settings. An album can be defined as any bound collection of photos of a personal nature, commissioned by a client or for private viewing most commonly event and portrait photography. Event photography can include weddings, engagements, formals, parties and graduations, while portrait photography can include couples, babies, individuals, family, boudoir and pets. All other genres should be entered into the book category. There are no physical requirements other than the prints slash pages must be bound. Judges will be asked to consider excellence in photographic technique, lighting, posing, expression and composition. Further considerations will include layout, design, sequencing, storytelling, production, packaging, originality and overall impact. Now the six albums that we've judged today include event, portrait and wedding single photographer. What I will now do is we will come to our first album and I will announce the score and then I will let you know whether any judge can challenge. If they are, can challenge, I would encourage you to do so and then we'll start the debate. If no judge is in a position to challenge, then we'll still have comment. So, thanking you very much. And our first album has a score of 80, a silver award. No one is in a, in a position to challenge, so that score remains. But I would like to call on at least three of our judges to make some comment. Who wants to be first? Dan, thank you very much. We'll hand you the roving mic. Uh, yeah, I um, uh, yeah, I like this one. I gave this one a silver. Um, I, uh, I, I think that the, the yeah, I, I think the photographer uh, did a did a fab job of um, making us feel something. You know, the perspectives were really, um, they really put you there. Um, I, it was quite believable. I loved the process. I loved that it was actually just one continuum, so it was a very consistent. Um, line from start to finish and capturing these beautiful moments you know of the first glimpse of bub coming up and and mum's reaction uh and then dad's i think it was very cleverly framed i did um not enjoy so much the um the choice of the paper that it was printed on uh the sheen i think took away a lot of the grit of what it was i think in the images so that was probably not the best decision for the for the for the images themselves, but yeah, I thought it was wonderfully captured and yeah. Thank you, Dan. Let's play musical microphones. You can pass the uh, mic along when the music stops. We'll have a comment. Oh, stopped on you, Ryan. <laughs> um, I gave this a 75, so I put it right in professional standard, which I truly believe it is. Um, I couldn't really take it into award standard. Just uh, there wasn't anything in there for me that really drew me and said. This is, is, needs to be an award. Uh, the paper choice definitely, Dan, just threw me off straight away. It was really hard to view, um, for one, and then didn't really match 
I guess, the narrative and the storyline. It just kind of killed it for me. Um, and that's a choice. And unfortunately, we've got to judge that choice as well. So, yeah. Thank you, Ryan. Um, Leslie here. Um, I also scored this in uh, the Silver Range. Um, uh, like Dan, look, I really love the narrative through this and the simplicity that the photographer has chosen with the choice of images that actually went into the album itself. Um, it had all the drama, all the emotion, but also the details and um, the, the selection of sometimes single images on a page and other times groups, um, grouping things together. So I thought that was well done. Yes, the um, paper stock, but the overall presentation, um, the simplicity, I, th I thought the um, cover presentation was probably a little bit too simple. It would have been nice to have had something a little bit more, I think. Okay, now you can pass the, the uh, microphone along. I think with six albums, we can afford to have a chat from each judge yeah. when there's no challenge. So, Mr. Gihonas. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I can actually add any more. I think the other thing is that I really like, applaud the photographer for um, capturing these images in some, I would imagine, very difficult lighting conditions. I think, um, you know, in some areas, there's some really heavy vignetting that um, also kind of detracted into, with some of the images there as well. But um, I concur with all the rest of the, uh, the judges, pretty much uh, the paper stock was what let me down as well. Thank you, Nick. And Katie? Um, yeah, I don't have a, a whole lot extra to add either. Um, I also scored this in the Silver Range. Um, I feel that the photographer did uh, a really, really um, excellent job of difficult lighting conditions. Um, and as uh, Dan, I think, said about the, the angles, the different angles that were chosen, which definitely made a lot of the images look a lot more interesting um, and artistic than pure documentary. Um, and also I felt that there was a pace uh, to it which matched what a birth is often like. Um, that was matched in the, in the choice of layouts um, and the amount of images selected from each stage of the birth. Excellent comments, judges. Thanking you very, very much. And that was our event album. We will now go to the first of um, our two portrait albums. If you guys want us to actually hold on to them, I'll, I'll just wait till it's on the screen for you all. <laughs> and judges, I'll just remind you if um, you're right there. I'll just remind you that if, if uh, one of the albums comes up that you didn't judge, stand up and then Andrew will know it's time to jump in. Okay. This portrait album scored a 76. And nobody is in a position to challenge. So as we flip through the book, I think we'll get all judges to um, make a quick comment. We can start the microphones down at the other end there. Thank you, Katie. Okay. Um, well, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I particularly liked the link between the textures in the photographs and the way the album itself and the box that it was in um, was quite uh, seamless. Um, there was a beautiful tie in there with that choice of presentation, which I enjoyed. Um, I did find some of the post-processing of the images to be a little muddy in parts. Um, I wish that it had have been a bit cleaner. Um, I really enjoyed the story of the dogs. It seemed very natural as if from a dog's perspective. Um, so well done to the photographer. Nick. Yes, I think it's a great um, family portrait album that um, uh, definitely sits in a, in a very good professional practice. And I think one of the um, <coughs> things that you see throughout the album is all about the dogs. And then we have like this particular spread here, which I've asked to kind of sort of hold there. We have a background of, um, you know, uh, obviously the owner. And um, I just felt that, that if you're going to go through that process of showing dogs only, just, just have the dogs only. And I think that's just, uh, but I think it's a, it's a beautiful album. Fantastic. Leslie. Yes, I put this in um, the um, professional standard. I would have liked to have seen um, the introduction of a little bit of text to give um, the history of the animals or to make it a little bit more quirky because obviously all the dogs have got great personalities and quite individual. But um, adding some text, I, I think, would have um, lifted it. Um, I loved the presentation and the box. I thought that worked really well. Thank you. And Ryan? 
I think it's just post processing that let this down for me. It's just yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked in the blacks. So. <coughs> and Dan. Yeah, I um uh, the the strength in this this book for me, I think, lied uh, it was the point of view of the photographer. I really like that they were eye contact with the dogs most of the time. But yeah, the handling of the images needs a bit of refining. So, yeah. Thank you, judges. We're almost at the end of the book anyway. Let's just have it for the audience. We'll continue on. Thanking you. Then we shall move on to our second portrait album. Okay. Uh, this album has scored a 78, and Leslie, you are in a position to challenge. <laughs> Leslie's on 85, the final score was 78. Yes, um, I'm really in love with, the, with this album. Um, on my notes here, um, the word that I've got underlined is thought. There's an incredible amount of thought that has gone into this from the photographer. Um, th the album is a, a sequence of old people in possibly a nursing home or something like that. So the, the whole presentation of the old world look, you know, the raggedy edges of, you know, around the images, and opposite that, the photographer has obviously said to them, can you give us a little piece of advice for living? And all of those lovely little statements over there are a window into that person's personality. The choice of the font, the choice of the embellishments, the little flowers and the little curly bits are all very old world. And all of that just, just adds to it. And see here, the thought that's gone into this particular page, you've got the leaves on the... The, the chair and the photographer's chosen to put the little leaves going out. Um, the other lovely thing about this is when you see the person's name and you've got where they were born, many of these people are from Poland and from Germany, many of them are Jewish. Um, and you can see the date they were born and when they arrived in Australia. So the narrative of all of this is just all coming through. Can you just turn the next few pages, please, so that people can see them? Um, on the negative side, um, the, the photographer has used a paper choice here which looks sort of metallic-y and I, I don't think that that is really a, a great choice. I, I think a beautiful textured paper to me would have worked really well because with this shine we're just losing some of the highlights in, in some of the images. Um, but that aside, I think that was the only negative for me because all the other things that the photographer has done, there's so much incredible thought that's gone into it and the posing of the people with the background. See the flowers in the image match with the flowers over here. It's very skillfully done. Um, old people, from, uh, sayings, embellishments. And also the other thing that I loved was the simplicity of the cover and it was called Tapestry of Life. Now, initially I thought, mm, you know, they could have probably done something better than that, but it is the simplicity of life and the simplicity of the statements that these people have made about living life. So I would really like to see our other judges here talk about this to bring this up into a silver distinction range um, at the moment, it's not an award. Right, what I'm going to do now is go to Ryan. I'll, I'll come back to you, Nick, but go to Ryan as, as the lower end of the score, and I'll also go to Katie, who's uh, also in the silver range. Okay, I, uh, I just held this on into the professional standard range at 70. Um, I don't disagree with your comments about the storyline and the embellishments and everything else. I just think we've got to really remember that we're judging photographs still. And the consistent theme of, or what's going through the photographs in this album is, in, in my opinion, quite poor in terms of lighting choice, for one. And the post-production that's been applied to the actual images is just such a takeaway from the image itself. There's artifacting, there's 
some sort of weird sharpening sort of thing going on with most of the eyes in this in this book. Um, and then I've got to remember I'm judging a book as well, and I'm judging the production quality of the book. And for me, this has just been really poorly printed. Um, and that could come through paper choice, um, but I just don't feel like it's been held together in the printing of the actual book either. So that's where it's just fell apart for me is in the photographs. I love the idea. The idea is brilliant. The storyline is brilliant. The embellishments are brilliant. But we've got to remember we're still called the Photography Awards and it was, last I checked we were still the Professional Photography Institute. So I, I've got to go to that first and I, I just can't get away from the lighting, the posing, the composition and the post-production. Okay, thank you, Ryan. If we can go down to um, Nick and then Katie. Pretty much stole my thunder there, um, Ryan, because there's a lot of um, um, textures and everything over the images, and 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 you know, it kind of tries to, not that it was on purpose, but hide some really poor judgment in terms of lighting and photography and posing and everything like that. Um, and then I um, got the narrative in terms of um, you know, it seems like they're migrants, whether they're Jewish or whatever it might be, but then you got some people who are born here. So if that's, if that's the message, then you've got enough content, get rid of the ones that were born here, um, because then I wouldn't have to question, now is this about Jewish migrants? Is this about you know, migrants in general? Um, but then I've got people born in Australia, so that kind of confused me as well. So um, great concept, I think, but when you're looking at some of the, um, uh, the post-production of those images, um, really, really let it down for me. Um, just for, and for the uh, audience, I um, scored it a 76. Okay. Thank you, Nick. And we'll go to Katie, then back to you, Leslie. Okay, I scored this at an 82. I think it would be a real shame if this image didn't, if this um, album didn't award. I think there's an incredible amount of work, um, an incredible amount of sensitivity to subject matter. Um, and I think that the stories told of the thoughts and um, minimal history of this collection of people is quite important and significant. And the photographer obviously um, cares very deeply about it because there are so many people um, and it's been done with so much attention to detail. Now, in terms of the the collection itself, it makes sense to me because it looks as though it's a, an actual nursing home, um, which is for, uh, I, I'm assuming, Jewish people. Um, that's probably why there's some disparity between some born in Australia and some not. It's obviously a significant place um, for that culture. Um, but this is my interpretation, um, but it seemed quite clear to me. So hopefully that um, helps with any anyone who might have been a bit confused about the the difference in um, their information. In terms of the actual photographs, whilst I do agree that the paper choice may have gotten in the way, I do feel that this is uh, a collection of images that were all shot in situ, and some of them. Uh, possibly have better lighting than others. The photographer has made the best of what might, may not have always been ideal and I think they've made that choice deliberately. I don't feel that it's that some of them are just not as good as others because they couldn't be bothered or they didn't know how. I, I feel that it's a deliberate choice. And I also felt as I was looking through that often the quotes that were included um, from, the, uh, from the subjects actually matched their expressions and the way that they were sitting and I found that really heartwarming. Um, I didn't have time to look at every single page. I, th I think I looked at probably two thirds of the book um, in terms of reading the quotes and, and looking at the images and uh, there are some things that I'm not so keen on design wise but we are judging the photographs first and foremost so I've forgiven a couple of those things. I, I just feel that these people's stories should be told are obviously very important to that community um, and to be honest the elderly get left out an awful lot in life and I think this is a really beautiful nostalgic collection of images and it definitely deserves a silver. Thank you Katie and back to you Leslie. Um, 
Yes, like uh, judging any images, uh, there's always um, technical aspects that we look at. We look at overall composition and we look at the emotive quality of and the idea of what the photographer is presenting to us. Yes, I agree, sometimes the lighting is not perfect. Yes, I agree about some of those other comments. I'm prepared to overlook those because of the passion the emotion, the storytelling, the love, and all those things that are there in bucket loads to, to make you look at this and think, wow, isn't this amazing? Another comment I would like to make is some of those um, post-production techniques which have been used have also, it, it, it also looks almost painterly in a way that it is, it's meant to be a little bit like that, that it, it's almost looking like a painting. So I, I think it's um, a silver distinction um, and I would really like you to reward the photographer for, for their skill. Okay, judges, we have a score of 78. Leslie, you're locked in at 85 anyway. We're going to give you the um, flip cards oh. and if you could just show me your score, please. One to nine, you know, or zero to nine. Eighty from Dan, thank you. Seventy-eight, and Katie's eighty-three. So we've got it by a majority. Score by majority, eighty silver award. Well done, judges. Okay, we'll just wait for our first wedding album. While that's happening, I just remind everybody, this is the album judging, proudly sponsored by Memento Pro, great su supporters of the AIPP, so let's get out there and support them. And they This album has scored 80, a silver award. We have a challenge from Leslie on 87. Okay. If we're ready, microphone's ready now. So, Leslie, you're happy to challenge? Okay, well, we'll go straight to you. And welcome, Andrew, to the judging panel. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, let's just start with uh, the presentation. I thought the presentation was great. I loved the album cover, very modern, very contemporary, and it indicated to me almost what, what I was going to be seeing inside. When I opened it up, it was everything that I thought it would be plus more. Um, I thought that the introduction into the various sectors of the album with Instagram pages was incredibly original and reflected the personality of the people who were in the, in the wedding album themselves. So that's what I thought, um, that the photographer has really looked at the personality of, the, of this couple and designed an album around their modern style. Um, the photography itself, I thought, was very well done. Great um, uh, candids and not too formal because obviously the couple not like that. And I did enjoy that coloration that the photographer has done in post-production, which just added to that modernity with the, the overall style. Um, what else have I got here? Great presentation. Yeah, so I didn't think anything was lacking. Um, <coughs> the story was well told. But the whole thing just hung together really beautifully, beginning to end and I could feel like I was there. 
So I've scored it um, in the silver distinction range because of that extra element of really looking at the style of the couple and then really nailing it and, and bringing it to us. Thank you, Leslie. We'll go to Daniel Sun. Um, yeah, hey. Uh, so, uh, I, yes. So I gave this one a 75. I... Um, uh, I think, for me, uh, there was a few, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sort of thinking if I'm going to start, I'll start with the images. Um, if I'm just looking at the images themselves, for, uh, this is probably a good example, like the high, a lot of the time the highlights and a lot of the time I feel like the, um, the technical aspects were not, they were definitely of a professional standard, uh, just nothing that was extremely um, stop you in your tracks kind of uh, award level as far as the images themselves go. I think there's some really beautiful coverage in there, but I feel like the book could have probably been probably half the size and it would have been, uh, I mean, as far as half the pages or half the spreads and it would have had a lot more impact for me. I feel like there's some really great moments in there, but they're getting diluted by a lot of um, not so great moments um, and so it just I feel like it loses a little bit of impact um, I guess for me also yeah the, I had a bit of difficulty with the inconsistency in the coloring so uh, I found that the actual processing and the coloring throughout the book from uh, prep through the ceremony to the reception uh, again there were some good moments and good color edits in there but again it wasn't super consistent um, I understand the vibe the Instagram vibe um, and what's happening, and I feel like it's a really cool way to explore this, um, and I, I do enjoy that element of it. I like at the very top, it's the interstory tap scroll through, so we're going through the spread at the moment, you can see at the top. At first I wasn't quite sure what that was, but then um, I realised that, yeah, we're going full Insta. Uh, I think the difficulty is, if we're going to go back, actually, sorry, could we go back one page? Just the only, some of the tough, tough parts I guess I had with it was, I, I feel like there is a theme going through um, if we're going to look at this as an Insta story, for example, it, this, the story itself might not crop like that, but whereas a lot of the other pages, it's cropping to square, which is probably representing how they might post it on Instagram. Um, I just feel like it was... There was the unique twist on this, which was the whole social media angle, uh, I think could have been explored uh, more full, to a more full degree. Um, and I feel like it's just sort of a, an, an awkward balance between... Um, a wedding album traditionally covered and traditionally shot um, versus a sort of a statement of how things are now in social media on Instagram. It's, it's kind of almost there. The idea is awesome. But, yeah, they're not dancing together for me very much. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Um, we'll let a few more judges have a bit of a chat. I can see a hand thrust into the air there. Nick, please. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't thrusting as much. We'll but um, you, look, Andrew. I am... Um, Pretty much concur with a lot of what Dan was saying. So um, when you start off a theme, whether it's a um, you know, Instagram theme, and I've actually have been privy to seeing an album that has taken that theme well and truly, and actually has gone through. And I just um, so that kind of that kind of uniqueness is actually it's really cool. However, the other thing that really kind of took it away from me is that particularly in the earlier stages with the, when, it, when it comes to spreads in albums where you have say uh, a colour cast on the right hand side of a say a certain kind of colour and the left hand is kind of off so when you actually design an album particularly if you can go to the groom spread if you can go right down to the groom spread for a moment um, you'll see there's some some instances there which are probably a little bit more obvious than, than most um, where you got one side um, Come on, going. Sorry, come on, going. When you got one side, um, um, a different color, a different sort of treatment. Over here, for argument's sake, if you look here, it looks like on the on the right hand side, he's been almost like retouched, and his skin's been done. And on the left hand side, it's a bit more earthier, and and the colors are a little bit different. So when you, I, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go through the same kind of color, match it. I understand if you're gonna go black and white, if you're gonna go, you know, then color on the other, and, and it's deliberate. That's fine, but I don't, I, that's not a deliberate thing from what I can see. So um, that's just some of my comments. Sure. We'll go to Andrew. Katie, would you like to make a comment as well? And then we'll go back to Leslie. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to congratulate the person who took photos at this particular place. Uh, and I say that because it's quite, quite an arid, dry 
and, and beautifully, I suppose, with the colours that were presented to the person on the day. Um, the introduction, as far as the actual delivery of, of, of the actual imagery right throughout, for me stays constant in a sense that it resembles to what the couple wanted. Um, I don't believe that, you know, the, I, if I'm right in saying that, that the photographer had a particular plane saying, let me set you up and take some imagery. Um, if we look at the actually opening scene right, around, right, right across it, and I believe this is a single capture by one photographer, yes. correct? Yes. So congratulations again because it's not an easy thing to do. Um, and they've captured it in, just absolutely stunning, I say he or she. There's, it's got diversity, it's got communication, it's got real moments and, and some of the things that we fail to look at is that maybe this couple is really an Instagram person or couples and if you go and there it is again it's all a selfie from from it the person's worked extremely hard to deliver a message of reality there are moments in this that are real I, I shoot weddings and I know I'm not allowed to say I it's not an easy thing to do but that's a great emotion and it's well captured uh, and if we go back to a particular instance we'll probably be able to see a bride and groom from the opposite version of having a selfie it's it's sitting in there somewhere so this this really depicts a story well told um with a resemblance to say this is instagram people and instagram images are not so perfect and maybe that's been put in there on purpose i actually scored this 82 because i quite like the feel of this album that it brings across once again i i i i feel you've done an absolutely amazing job on this thank you andrew and we'll pass the uh, microphone down to katie please for a comment Thank you. Uh, I scored this one at 76, um, and I'm pretty comfortable with it sitting there. Um, I agree with pretty much everything that Dan said, and also Nick. Um, I, what I really like about it is that I think there's a very, very strong uh, element of personality coming through. I really feel that uh, the album helps you get to know this couple and also all of their friends and a lot of their family members. And I think the photographer's done an excellent job of doing this. And that is in keeping, I guess, with the the, the social media sort of slant of the design um, of the album. So I just wanted to say that as something really positive. But um, I see this as a very good representation of everyday work that all uh, wedding photographers should be providing their clients. And that's why I'm comfortable with it sitting in the, in the 70s. Great, thank you. And we'll go back to Leslie for her right of reply. 80. Yeah, no, I, um, I'd like to get some more points for the photographer for this. Um, first of all, let's uh, just address the Instagram thing. I do agree with you that I think that they could have pushed it further to have um, more of that coming through, not just a tiny little bit here and another bit there and another bit there. It, it um, would have hung together better. Um, as far as the coloration goes, which is what I talked about um, very early in the piece, um, I think it matches their personality. And yes, there are some discrepancies from left to right. The other thing is this is shot at the beach. It is shot at Noosa. I, I recognise that location. That's where I live. <laughs> and you've got bright sunshine, so you... It, it's very difficult to to photograph and capture all of this and have and, and don't have problems with lighting. So all of that, we know what it's like at the beach with this sort of lighting. And also that that yellowness and the warmness is coming through, which adds to that lovely beach feel. She's got the beach hair, she's got the beach dress, and it all hangs together beautifully. So I think the coloration um, is in this case, something that really works for the album. Um, I would like to get some more points um, above the 80 for the photographer. I see it in the silver distinction range. Um, if you can come up and join me. Okay, judges. Leslie, your score is locked in at 87, but we'll now ask all the other judges to rescore. And while that's happening, I'll just let the audience know that um, the coloration that you're seeing on the screen is not indicative of the actual album. It's quite yellow on the screen. Um, later on, when you have a chance to view the albums, you'll see that the colour is a lot more neutral. Thank you, Dan. 84 for Andrew, which is actually um, Ryan. Okay. Yep. 80, Katie's 76. And Nick, 82. Yep. 
Okay, final score is 81. Silver award. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Andrew. Welcome back, Ryan. Take your seat. Organise the album. Then I shall announce the score. Okay, our second wedding album, Single Photographer, has scored 90 gold award. <laughs> I already have a, have you earmarked here, Ryan, as 97, and that's a challenge. Thank you. And let me just say that you have a reasonable amount of support there, mate. It's already gold, right? Yes. Yeah, so there's two others in gold. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Um, yeah, well, where do I start? Um, don't state the obvious, Ryan. That's probably... Yeah, I mean, yeah, presentation was different, interesting. Not my personal choice, but I love it because it's different and interesting and it matches, you get into the album, you go, okay, makes sense. So, um, there's just some really beautifully composed and really strong images in here that I couldn't go past rewarding. And as it came together, I, I was thinking, oh my God, why are we seeing so much of the, why are we seeing so much of the space? Why are we seeing so many of the landscapes? But they're all beautiful landscapes. They're all beautifully lit. And then it makes sense that the wedding was in different parts and there were different things happening. Um, and then what really got me was when we get to the wedding and she must be from some sort of Indian Sri Lankan background. You see her try to sort of get changed into that uh, traditional outfit. The lighting that got to that part where it, just in here, just in around here is good and probably back a few more as well. Um, is where it cemented it for me. And there's the amount of detail attention to photographic technique for me, but then the simplicity of the production, that it's not overdone. There's nothing tricky about this. There's nothing that I need more than the images. The layout is beautifully simple to tell the story. The images tell the story for us without the need for anything else. And for me, that's, that's what a wedding album's about. That, that, like I can imagine looking back at this in 30 years time and still thinking, this looks freaking amazing. And I'm transported to where they are. That's what an amazing wedding album's about. That's why I scored it as an amazing wedding album at 97. Thank you, Ryan. Can I hand that microphone to your right? And we'll have a word from Andrew on 85. I, I scored at 85 and perhaps I was a little bit harsh on it and because it was only the second album that I looked at and I didn't look at all the other albums. Uh, this album here presents itself absolutely beautifully done. So we'll start with the cover itself. I had to touch the cover twice because I actually think that is real zebra skin. So if anybody wants to touch that, that to me feels like real zebra skin. And the, you, uh, you I have, yeah, <laughs> and it feels just like that. Um, however, we're, we're looking for perfection, uh, Ryan, and I totally in, in, in agreement with the, it's beautiful. The negative space is used absolutely beautifully, but there are some little things that didn't pull it over for me, and some, like, you know, the white highlighted areas and such. I could forgive that and go to a gold, but with a gold, like, 97 distinction, I will probably need a little bit more input by the other judges as such. Um, the presence itself to tell this story is amazingly done. So if you're in a room, congratulations. It's not an easy thing, once again, to photograph albums and wedding albums. And you've brought every element of, of pleasure in owing this book. Uh, in the sense that you've brought the landscape and everything that's secret within it in an emotional way, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic to look at. And um, I congratulate you with that. So. Um, once again, I may have been a little bit harsh on it, but I'd like to hear what the other judges have said before I score, yeah? Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Let's pass that microphone along. We, all our judges will have a chance to have a chat. So, Leslie, you've got it. Yeah, I've also scored it gold. Um, yeah, the presentation was fantastic. Um, I've marked this down with a, an underline, this is an art album. And I can't say that too strongly enough. The photographer's eye is pure art. The suggestion of images rather than a factual record, record of something 
is the mystique that's there. Now, the other thing, I mean, I agree totally with Ryan about, um, you know, the photography skills. Um, one of the other notes that I made was, even though this is just classified as a wedding album, it, it the fact that it starts off with the couple in the cavern and in the wide open spaces with the, you know, the animals on other pages and everything, it is more about the couple's relationship that just transcends into the wedding. The other thing too is because one, um, the, the woman is of, is a Indian culture, um, Indian weddings can go on for a number of days. And so I thought, well, this is probably the first day when everybody was there, but you know, leading into it and this is setting the scene. So um, I thought from pure originality, that was a great idea to do that. Um, totally unique. Um, I think the photographer is pushing boundaries with it, um, but the art eye is is just pushing buttons for me, and I I just love it, and it's gold. Thank you, and Nick. So yeah, <clears throat> okay. I um, it, as these pages uh, pages are getting turned and turned, I'm just falling in love with it even more. I did actually score an 86, so I'm definitely going up. Um, I love loved everything. I think <laughs> with that being, you know, I just think. The wedding spoils the um, landscapes are so beautiful. So I'm just not kidding. It's just, just, it's absolutely beautiful. Like I think everything about it. I, I, um, I, I know what. Really, to be honest with you, what threw me off was that was the um, the presentation, not the actual cover, but the big wooden box thing. I, I think um, it didn't have to be that literal. I think it just, it's unpractical for me. Um, in saying that, I think. I have um, underscored it a little. I'm definitely going up to the gold. Gold distinction, maybe not. Um, only reason for that, Ryan, is because I feel that there are some instances when it comes to um, uh, the couple themselves or the portraits of the couple, you know, that some are just way too dark or, or you know, like, um, not just looks like, you know, let's just stand and, and, you know, take a photograph. And I just feel that that takes the emotion away from, um, from 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 some from the couple, because um, everything about the album, from the way that it's been lit to the way that, that to the covers and everything, um, the the treatment, is giving us a feeling of mood and 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 being part of the wedding and everything about it. But then they just you know, having you know like, there's a couple of those images there throughout there just took it back for me. But look, definitely going to gold. I think it's a beautiful album. Thank you, Nick and Katie. Okay, I scored this 92. Um, it was a clear gold for me almost straight away. Um, I think there are a couple of things this photographer's done which we don't see maybe ever. Um, and one of them, Ryan touched on some pages in the middle there, and I think that's where it became apparent to me too that this was something pretty extraordinary. Um, the pages of the bride and groom getting ready where there's um, details of animals alongside the portraits. and. It was just such an interesting device to use. Um, I mean, not just in the shooting of of this wedding, but also in the obviously the presentation, the way it's been presented to us, to use that link between detail and place, and time, and uh, and then the people. And I think a lot of wedding photographers do do this to a certain extent, but I've never seen it done like that. Um, so I just thought that was an incredible device to further communicate um, this wedding to us. I also found as I flicked through that each page was a surprise. I didn't know what was going to be on the next page and I loved that about it. There was nothing um, expected about any of it. Um, so, you know, I, and I, like the presentation for me was just phenomenal. So I was already, I love that page. That was one of my favourites. Um, now, I wanted to um, give this a higher score and I'm now seriously considering coming up. The reason I didn't was because I had a bit of an issue towards the end with... Um, the dance floor um, section. So I felt it suddenly became conventional, this, this page in particular. I suddenly was transported out of this incredibly exotic um, wedding with a very unconventional design and approach where things were so carefully selected um, and minimal to this page which to me looks like any page in any well done contemporary wedding album. Um, and it threw me a bit. And it was just something that I, I 
sort of, I guess maybe because it came at the end, I couldn't let go of it. So I noted that down and um, I found that a little disappointing. But um, everything else I loved and it's a solid gold and I'm considering coming up to gold distinction. Thank you, Katie. We're going back to Ryan. Your right of reply. Awesome. I love to hear that people are considering coming up. I want you to. Um, I want to clarify a couple of things. So, Leslie, I think you said you look, you, you're looking at this like an art album, and I want to agree with you, but I want to remind you it's not. Because it's a wedding album. And what makes it brilliant is that it represents weddings today, right now. And it sets some sort of bar for us all. And I, that's, that's really what I want to reward. Nick, I'll, ad I'll address the highlights. I mean, the highlights are held, like, totally. Oh, no? White areas. What, what do you mean by white areas? The, 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 okay, okay, okay. Look, uh, for me, we get back down to the lighting is beautiful to highlight where, where the photographer wants you to look, right? Where they want you to be drawn to. So I love that. I'll get to the cover and the box in a second because then I want to agree with you in the art world because I just bought a Mario Testino book that literally is a plastic molded cover that's about three foot tall. And it's totally impractical, like completely. But it sits proud on my coffee table right now. And that's what I can see with this, is that it's that statement piece in someone's place, home, whatever it may be. So I'll, adjust, I'll address the last couple of pages because I was with you. I was like, what a shame. Why didn't they, why didn't they just light it differently? And, but I have to remember and keep reminding myself, this is still a wedding, someone's wedding album. And these stories are so important to tell because that's how I feel the fun, the energy, the vibe, all the rest of it. So I think to bring it to a point of not awarding it to a gold decision, uh, distinction because of these pages would be a bit harsh because we still have to remember that these people want to feel that vibe, feel that energy. And we've got another 100 pages to, to tantalise our art feelings to get it to 97, uh, which is exactly where I'd like it to be, please. Thank you, judges. Wonderful comments. We're going to rescore. Ryan, you're locked in on 97. Judges, if you could please take your uh, flip books. And we'll have our rescore. Just hold it. Thank you, Nick. 95, Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Print has scored 95 gold with distinction. Come on, let's hear it. Okay, deep breath. And we'll have our next wedding album. And this album has scored 79. And no one is in a position to challenge. However, we will have comments and then I'm going to do what we do with the prints and do a review, which will be, does it go up to 80 or does it remain at 79? I'm going to invite all judges to comment and then we'll review. Thank you. So who has the mic? I have the mic. So Dan, you're first, son. All right. Uh, so uh, I gave this book uh, 77, um, professional practice, I was good with that. I, d I think this is one of those situations again where I... Uh, no, sorry, I shouldn't say again. Uh, this, is one of, this is a situation where again... I, oh, my God, I just did it. The paper choice, again... Uh, I mean, again... Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I've obviously got, like, a, some sort of, like, mental disorder. Well, well, we knew, anyway, we knew that anyway. <laughs> okay, so the paper choice, it, it's got a bit of a metallic sheen to it or some sort of... a. I mean, it looks like a very nice expensive paper, but it doesn't do the images any favours at all. Um, I think it's quite distracting, uh, you know, from the content that's being put in front of us. I think there's some really beautiful frames in this book. Um, and I feel like, again, it's a really uh, good representation of coverage at a wedding. But beyond that, um, into the award category, I just unfortunately can't take it up there. I found that... I tried to work out why the purple cover at the front and all the sheen and all the stuff that, again, I feel is all taking away from 
something that, which is more powerful. And for me, that was the connection between the couple and the content. Um, yeah, so, you know, professional practice, thumbs up. But that's all I could go with it. Thank you, Dan. And we're very fortunate Dan was released from institu institutionalised care today to come and judge for us. Ryan. I had this at 78. Uh, Dan, I agree with all of your wild... <laughs> We got through your comments, right? Um, it's just really solid. Um, it's just really solid professional practice. I just can't, there's nothing in there that really takes me above and beyond that. So that's where I ended up at 78. And Leslie? Um, yes, I gave this a low silver. I um, actually really enjoyed the presentation. Um, and it was a statement. Um, obviously the couple's favorite color or whatever, but um, do you want to put the cover up there so people can can see? And the I think that there was a box with that too. Yes, there was a, a slip a slip cover which was, was in mauve. Um, what have I got down here? Um, I enjoyed all the candidates, the details, formals, location detail, overall coverage was very solid and I got a great sense of, of the couple and I put it in the silver range. Thank you, Leslie. Nick? Yeah, I scored it at a 78. I, th I think that's I'm very, very comfortable with where it sits. Um, some of the spreads um, in the post-production, a lot of over-sharpening. Um, I think, too, when you're looking at covers or you're looking at wedding albums, um, I think, uh, particularly with the cover that you see there, you want to make, you want to um, um, have an album that stands the test of time and you know covers that can be a little bit um, bejeweled or whatever um, treatment that it has can almost put it like a timestamp. Even though we're 2018, I would probably think that we might have been perhaps in the um, you know late late 80s or something. You know, so that I think that's something, something to be careful about. That's all. Um, but I think fantastic imagery throughout. Um, yeah, I scored um, a very very strong professional practice. And yeah, I think I'm very comfortable there. Thank you, Nick. And Katie. Hello. Um, I scored this one an 81. I do feel it, it is worthy of a silver. Um, I think the, the thing for me was that I felt that despite my own personal tastes, which did come to play when I first picked it up and started looking at it, um, this couple clearly have made decisions about their style. And I think this is in keeping with their style and what they would want. Um, and it's not always for everybody. Um, but the photographer clearly has a high level of skill that's very evident throughout the album. Um, the choices of the placement and pace of the story is what tipped it over for me. I thought that was very high level skill. We see a lot of albums that are just simply a chronological telling of the story and most of the layouts can be very similar and that's solid professional practice for me because that's what we, we normally see out there and it's what we expect the majority to be able to deliver to clients. But this one for me with the pace, uh, the arrangement, um, the flow of, of the actual day, I, I feel that it, it represents a much more superior level of skill. It's been much more carefully arranged than what I consider solid um, everyday professional practice um, and that's why I scored it up in, in the 81. Um, I do think that the design and presentation is quite immaculate despite the fact that it's not something that I personally uh, like. And I, but I actually, um, the metallic pages, well, I've not actually seen that finished before. I'm very used to looking at matte pages, that seems to be very normal these days. Um, I didn't initially like it but I think it's in keeping with the photographer's very polished style which is also quite classic. It's possibly not as modern and um, cool as what we want to see now, but I think there's a time and a place and it clearly suits this couple, so um, yeah. Well, thank you judges, all you judges for those comments. I'll remind you, the um, album has scored a 79 and we were going to have a review, so I'd just like to see a show of hands if you believe it should go up to 80. Thank you, judges. The album remains at 79. And that concludes the album judging. <laughs>